Hey YouTube, it's me. I'm back. I know I ain't posted a video in a while. I know my hair looks totally different. So, I want to say sometime back in November, early November, I cut my hair. I missed my mohawk. If you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you'll see pictures of my mohawk in blonde. Because, you know, last time I think I did a video, my hair was, my locks were blonde. I took them out, cut my hair in a mohawk. And I kept it in the Mohawk bomb for a while. And I want to say just last week or the week before. Um, I want to say last Tuesday. I colored my hair. I was trying to do the roots black and then the tips uh, purple. I got Manic Panic, uh, Shocking Blue, a Rockabye Baby Blue, one of the two. And it actually turns out purple. So the ends of my hair in the light are a little purplish. And I want to say yesterday. I decided to put them back in. I want I had fun for a little while with my mohawk. I'm keeping my mohawk, actually. If you see, I have designs on the side of my head, which I, I did myself. I don't let nobody play on my hair. I'm not saying that I'm good at doing lines. I know this side looks kind of different, but this side is better, but it's growing out. So my hair does grow fast when it's short. So I will have to keep my hair lined up at least once once a week because when I had my amber rose look I had to cut my hair once a week because it grows too fast so I will be keeping my lock hawk uh, I did two strand twists last night or yesterday afternoon I don't know how many of my hair I haven't counted them yet but I want to get a closer look my little two strand twist um I just took you know I think it's five in the front one two three four and this one here I just took hair parted it I did use if you follow Damian Walters, uh, if you go to his website, The Evolution of Style, I did order. I've used it before in the past, years ago. Uh, not too, like a couple years ago, but I wanted to start my locks. And then initially, when I started my daughter locks and my locks, I think in 2012, um, I used his lock and curl spray. So I did buy some of that. And I had just previously washed my hair. So I had just a little bit of gel in my hair and leave-in conditioner. Um, all I did was spray my hair with the solution. I mixed it with water. Um... And I sprayed my hair, it parted and twisted. And then let my hair air dry. And that was it. And I pinned them out my head, on my face. So these are my little babies. Uh, currently, right now, I think for retwisting re my hair, I will only use maybe just a lock and curl spray for the first couple of retwists. Just to keep my hair moisturized. Because I did color my hair black on top of the blonde. So just to keep my hair moisturized and healthy. Uh, it wasn't any damage to it before I colored it black, but I just want to make sure. And then I may integrate and in adding uh, Talia YG's Lock It Up or Tight Hold. I don't know which one I want to use. Uh, as far as shampooing, I'll probably still stick to my peppermint soap, uh, Dr. Bronner's. I did try the other day this, um, I forgot who the name was, the Maui shampoo, some new shampoo. I kind of like it. I may continue to use that as a moisture shampoo, or if not, I will probably go through the Design Essentials. I've used the Design Essentials line, the same line that Damian Walters uses on his clients. I've used it before. I was even attempting to lock my hair. I saw his videos. I was using the regular brand for relaxed hair. Uh, I did like the Rosemary Peppermint Shampoo uh, Conditioner, which is good. So I'll probably go to that because that did balance out cleaning your hair and the moisture at the same time. So I don't know yet. I'm still trying to... <clears throat> figure out what products I will stick to because I don't want to be a product junkie and when I took my locks out for that little bit of time I became a slight product junkie and I don't want to be a product junkie uh, I want to be able to just you know easy maintenance and when my hair is in two strands twist right now this is easy maintenance it's even less maintenance for me doing the finger coils because they're in two strand twist I don't have to do nothing really the coils for me unraveled easier <clears throat> before they locked but I'm okay with that, and I'm good with my hairstyle. All I got to do for right now is keep my sides shaved and tapered, and I'm good. I don't know when I'll do a wash um, or a retwist. Uh, again, like I said, it's December, what's today? December 9th. I started them December 8th. I don't know um, what that process looks like. I do know my goal is I don't want to retwist as often, and I think... I was glad that I had this phase that I wanted to take my locks out, even though I could have been six months, six months totally locked by now uh, and completely locked. But I wanted to experience something different. And I think it was time for me to do my locks in a different manner, opposed to finger coils due to two strand twists. So I will leave my hair alone. 
um and go from there and i will be back to posting regular videos on a regular basis um I do have a video that I want to post. I'll post later. I'll uh, talk about later about my love life and how it's going since moving here to uh, Florida. It's a little gloomy outside. It's been raining today. It hasn't rained in a while. But other than that, YouTube, I just wanted to touch base with you and show you that I am back to locking my hair. You all have a blessed Sunday.